What's up, Capricorn? This is Soul and Capricorn. We're going to take a quick look at some energies for you regarding love and relationships. This is that energy that I had talked about that I would do uh, regarding specific weekends. So I'm going to use this energy here for uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Even though I put the weeklies up already, this is just an addition. We're going to focus this uh, primarily on love and relationships. Of course, this is for Capricorn singles, couples. Uh, Capricorns who are into same-sex loving energies is for Capricorn suns, moons, risings, and Venuses as well. So, once again, happy Thanksgiving. I'm using the Victorian Romantic Tarot deck. And just to make this really quick and to the point here, um, I'm only tossing five cards and reading the shadow. But I am complimenting the energies here um, with the status uh, oracle deck to see what they want to add to uh, these messages, messages for you. Okay, with that being said and done, let's get into the energies here just to see, you know, what's going on here uh, for Capricorn for the week uh, starting the 24th, which is Thanksgiving and ending on the 27th of November 2022. Okay, so Capricorn, we're going to uh, start off with the first card in this energy. We want to read that. Damn. Sagittarius just received this uh, for their opening, too. So what the hell's going on here? So the nine of swords here is always about that card of overthinking too much, worrying too much, connect it all to your relationships, stressing out about something, your relationship, um, feeling like the woman on the in the picture, like you're, you know, on a ledge there, you know, on edge, trying to seek some sort of relief, um, seeking, you know, uh, when it comes to that uh, relief, you may be uh, reaching for the bottle, <laughs> reaching for cigarettes, reaching for smoking marijuana, um, anything to take down the temperament of this nine of swords. It's inner conflict that is left unresolved, external conflict. So you have to bring up to the surface, be strong enough to bring up to the surface to discuss what's going on here um, with you. Now, this is not going to be for every Capricorn. As I always say, you know, I'm just interpreting the cards, take what is uh, uh, meant for you and then leave the rest alone. So this is, uh, you know, basically, you know, being betrayed, being ashamed, having uh, to be cheated on, someone having an affair, being, you know, definitely lied to, someone bringing, you know, mental challenges to you. Um, I just mentioned too in Sagittarius that, you know, I could be reading for Capricorns who may be engaged in, uh, relationships, romantic relationships where the person is incarcerated. Nine of Swords always gives me incarceration. So that could be the situation of why the Nine of Swords is presenting itself for a Capricorn who may be dealing with someone who is, uh, locked up or behind bars. Okay. So just talk to those energies out, trying to decrease that energy for it. Uh, yourself because you don't want to carry that nine of swords stress around with you the entire weekend you really don't okay so but we're not done tossing these cards here and you know just because i'm only tossing five doesn't mean that the uh order of uh how i lay these energies out is going to be how it's going to open up okay nine of swords represents air gemini libra and aquarius now we have the star card they also too had the star card now i shuffled these cards Hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. This is the card of, it is a relationship card. Also, too, making sure that your energies are not too scattered. Stay focused on one or two things, especially when, you know, you have the Nine of Swords there. You want to focus on, you know, trying to relieve yourself of some sort of uh, inner conflict or external conflict when it comes to your relationships. Social media. So whatever your favorite social media uh, energies are, and this is not just for, you know, the singles, but the singles could be um, searching even more because some of you may be off from work or vacation or whatever. And now you have time to, you know, put your energies out there or possibly respond if you had already been trying to throw out those alliances and make connections through online dating, uh, whatever your favorite social media app is, you know, Instagram, uh, TikTok, Face book, Snapchat, whatever, okay? This is a very good card to have. It's all about those um, energies of manifestations. And we're talking about relationships here. Star card here represents Aquarius, uh, Gemini, and Libra. Up next, we have the Seven of Cups. So there's the card of options. It does represent, um, you know, relationships. When the Seven of Cups, along with the moon, not necessarily along with the moon because the moon has not been drawn, but in reference to the moon, someone goes. 
Roddy, someone goes deeper in terms of their feelings and their emotions for uh, you this weekend, Capricorn. And also, it could be that you go deeper in terms... Sorry about that, Capricorn. That was a, a relative of mine who was just relentless in getting information from me. But let's continue. Uh, Seven of Cups is... Um, that type of energy where you will be either uh, going deeper in terms of expressing yourself to uh, the ones that you're already connected to, or it could be someone that, you know, comes along that is new. Uh, also, it could be um, the options for the single. So look how it follows the star card. So like I said before, some of you are going to be uh, interacting with social media, making new connections. So this is the card that presents options that will become available if you are the uh, single Capricorn who is looking to uh, make a new connection when it comes to romance. But just make sure that you are, you know, using your best um, intuition and your discernment because you don't want to pick from the wrong choices to end up with having to... Um, you know, feel bad about that choice later on. Seven of Cups here represents Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Following that, we have the Six of Pentacles. This is your energy. So, well, you guys can still be receiving a gift. We're not talking about work and finance here. Um, someone could be getting an apology. It may be connected to that Nine of Swords. If there was some sort of conflict with a relationship, then somewhere along the line, here comes the apology. It's an even number of Pentacles. So, you, um, the apology is forthcoming, and then you accept the uh, apology as well. Six of Pentacles is representing you, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. It's a charitable gift that may be received as well. Maybe makeup. Could be makeup sex. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to just throw it out there. It could be makeup sex. Anyway, Six of Pentacles. Following that, we have the Two of Cups. So you finish off with the Two of Cups, which is good because the Two of Cups is about the formation of new relationships. We have the Star card here. So we have the Seven of Cups. So you could be, you know, um, be online this week, whatever, uh, energies that you use to make those connections, then, you know, there's people here that are available. Then there's a new connection. This is uh, first dates, invitations out. This is already for those Capricorns who are in existing relationships and you don't have any of the energy going on with the nine of swords. So you're just enjoying each other's company, uh, seeing eye to eye with one another, being on the same page with one another, uh, sharing the same likes, interests, and so forth. Just having a grand time. Now, this all may be uh, incorporated into the holiday as well. So it could be the Capricorn who is just, you know, spending time with their, you know, their significant other. And it could be the absence of, you know, family members and friends, just having a quiet dinner alone, maybe going out to dinner by yourself if that's what you choose to do. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces again. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Shadow. This is feeling abundant. If it's the absence of money, of course, we're not talking about money, then you're feeling abundant. Capricorn, you're being well provided for. Either you're being well provided for or you're the provider in a relationship. Or if you're that single Capricorn, you're still feeling abundant because you have all your needs and all your wants at this particular time. But you're willing to share all of those things with someone else if that too is what you want. Ten of Pentacles is your own energies, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. All right, so that's what I have for you. I told you I wanted to make this real simple. Um, so let's get some energies here from the status deck to see what's going on, what they have to say in terms of the messages here. Yeah, the Nine of Swords here is is always that energy that is, ugh. It's one of the cards I don't, I don't like along with the Three of Swords and the Tower. I just get cringed when that Nine of Swords shows up here because there's something going on. Remember, it's the card of being lied to, being betrayed, feeling cheated, de definitely overthinking too much about a situation, person, or event, and uh, could be dealing with some trying, uh, seeking some sort of relief. You just want relief from that energy. Okay, so the status card um, that we're going to select for you, the first one is this one here says taking. Wanting to make things official. Okay. Next one up is uh, it's complicated. Yeah. Nine of swords. Next one is uh, entertainment. This one likes dessert for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Keep that in mind. Uh, yeah. Let's just do the shadow and then we'll complete the uh, energies here for you. And the shadow says not investing. I'm not avoiding you. I just don't want what you want. Wow, okay, that might be a message there for somebody out there. All right, so Capricorn, this is what I have for you this week. 
Sorry about the interruptions uh, with the phone. Um, but, you know, take what you need to take out of these energies here, what applies to your situation. Leave the rest alone. Uh, happy Thanksgiving once again. Be safe. Uh, keep smiling for me, and I will talk to you real soon. Bye.